I'm Jennifer Harvey. I'm a floral designer and an event designer. And I am here today to tell you about wonderful things you can do in your home like I do in this client's house. One of my clients have let us in and I'm going to show you around a little bit. We've had events here and lots of dinner parties and one of the most beautiful weddings I've ever done. We're going to show you some pictures. But first, I'd like to show you a centerpiece I just whipped up. This is for a dinner party that you may have. It's really simple to do and um, it's right here. So I went and got two dozen roses, some pomegranates, which is great for the season, um, some apples and grapes, and that's all. That's all that's in this arrangement. It took me about five minutes to whip up. So let's go outside and I'll show you what we did with the wedding out there. It's the first snowfall of the season. Look at it, it's gorgeous out here, right? And what do you have to do, of course? I have to catch a snowflake because it's good luck. Um, Oh, I got one. Oh, that was good. Okay, anyway, sorry guys. Back to uh, what you're interested in. Um, here we're on the property from the wedding that we uh, did this summer. It was a beautiful wedding. We, um, you can see that the, the wall had flowers on it. Uh, the pergola had it. It was a beautiful setting because there was so many different things you can do. But the bride had a really strict budget. So it was kind of a DIY, uh, very inventive uh, wedding. So what we did was we incorporated flowers that grew on the property. We um, took garden roses and beautiful green hydrangeas that had dried for the season and we put them in her bouquet. It also was wonderful because people brought things to incorporate like brooches and, and made memories with her to uh, extend her budget. The mayor even came. It was a pretty big deal in this small little community. The guests got to stay on the green in beautiful little white chairs. It was very picturesque. It was kind of like a fantasy come true and that's what I love to do. I love to create um, fantasies from the imagination of my brides. We had uh, guests here um, on cruisers and we had fire pits for them to enjoy. We had submerged flowers with floating candles. It was spectacular really. It was beautiful. <laughs> another venue I brought you to. This is the Brockville Country Club. Look at this landscape. It's gorgeous and it's a great backdrop for any of the events that I've ever done uh, here. It's a beautiful place for weddings and in the winter you can't really use the greens but in the summer it's gorgeous. It's got uh, waterfalls on the property and, and it's a beautiful golf course. And inside, come on over here, uh, inside this is the grand ballroom and we do lots of uh, weddings and uh, charity events. I just did a charity event here um, in November and we raised lots of money for our great foundation. The theme was 007 so we uplit it with red and, and there was red roses everywhere. It was, it was spectacular. Um, we draped the whole place. It's, it's a little awkward to decorate and they had a really small budget so we had to be really inventive to bring the theme into the party and not make it birthday party or hokey. So we did it with elegance and class and everybody was really happy with it. And that's what I love to do. I love working on a budget and making dreams come true. Here we are on the banks of the St. Lawrence River and across the way is New York State. And why do you think I'm showing you New York State, you may ask? Well, here's the segue. I worked in New York City with some of the greats in my industry, like Preston Bailey and Martha Stewart, and I've been able to design for people like Joan Rivers. We've done big weddings at the Empire State Building. I've done royal weddings. It's been a blast, and now this is just the next step in my career. So I, you wonder why I have cold hands right now? Well, my camera guy kind of froze, so I'm generous too, yay! I'm a real per people person, and, and I would love to be able to change the world one hug at a time. So here is my audition tape. I think you should pick me, and I think that you will be delighted with um, my expertise in this field. Oh, and yeah, can I have my gloves back now? <laughs> my hands are precious. These are my skills. Anyway, come on, give me my gloves back. Ah, give them to me. 